Yes. I told that boy a billion times to pick up his job. I like to play with you. I like to play with you. There goes my back again. An ammeter, a timer, a thermometer, a ring stand, a burette clamp, two pieces of copper wire with both ends exposed, a 250 ml beaker, a 50 ml gas collection tube and funnel, a stirring rod, two banana plug to alligator clip wires, one banana plug to banana plug wire, and sodium sulfate. Measure out around 2.84 grams of sodium sulfate. Fill the beaker with 200 ml of water and dissolve the sodium sulfate. Fill the collection tube with Na2SO4. Leave the rest in the 250 ml beaker. Place one end of the piece of stripped copper wire in the mouth of the tube, invert it into the beaker. Clamp the tube. The other end of the wire should be above the liquid level of the salt solution. Connect this exposed end to the black wire with an alligator clip. Connect the banana plug end of the black wire to the one port on the ammeter. Connect one end of the gray double banana plug wire into the negative port on the ammeter and connect its other end to the negative port on the power station. Connect the remaining red alligator clip wire to the positive port on the power station and connect its alligator clip to the second piece of stripped wire. Drape the other end of this copper wire into the beaker. After you've recorded your initial liquid level, Turn on your power station to the 0.5-40 VDC setting. And Collect 10 to 15 ml of gas and record the time it takes. While gas is collecting, record the current from the ammeter. Turn off the power, disconnect your setup, and record the final volume on the burette. Now that we've done the experiment, we can use the ideal gas law to find Faraday's constant. 